Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming to the uh, groundbreaking for GTCC's future aviation campus. Lee Kynard thankfully wrote some remarks for me this morning. Uh, I'm going to reduce them from 20 minutes to about three. Lee, where are you? <laughs> uh, I particularly want to thank the industry leaders who are here and the representatives, uh, representatives of our various governing bodies. Uh, we thank you for your ongoing support of Guilford Technical Community College. We couldn't do it without you. This facility is a prime example of the trust and the respect the people of Guilford County have demonstrated for Guilford Technical Community College. 55 years of fiscal trust between the county, the state, and GTCC have helped create this moment. GTCC has managed the money allocated by county and state budgets with uh, care and in integrity. Taxpayer dollars and citizen trust have contributed to the training and maintenance of a skilled workforce. The motivated, energetic people of Guilford County believe this institution will prepare them for success and help them support their families. Construction is going forward on this signature building thanks to their approval of a bond refer referendum in May of 2008. And as far as I know, the citizens of Guilford County have supported every bond issue in the past. The leader who is going to tell us about how aviation figures into our productive future is the president of GTCC, Dr. Randy Parker. Dr. Parker. Thank you, Mr. Willard, and thanks to everyone for coming out today. A very exciting day here for Guilford Technical Community College. I, too, would like to express my thanks to our county commissioners for their support of our great college and all the support that they do. The county provides the funding for land buildings and facilities to do the great programming that we do here at Guilford Tech. And the state provides the funding for the actual academic programming that goes on within our buildings. So if it were not for the county commissioners, this facility would not be possible. Thank you, Ms. Shaw, for your leadership and for all the other county commissioners. And for the citizens, because back in 2008, the money to provide this great facility was passed by the citizens of Guilford County. So we understand and we know the trust with which the citizens have put in us, and we're here to train the workforce for the future in the aviation field. Today, the program will be, we're gonna have our comments today and we'll finish up in a few minutes and then we'll walk outside and actually do the ceremonial turning of the dirt and the groundbreaking out front. So that's what our plans are. We still have refreshments, so please feel free to come back in uh, after the uh, groundbreaking and enjoy the refreshments and fellowship. Today, our program will have, well, we were gonna have Dr. Fujino to be with us today, but he was unable to be here. So we'll be hearing from Steve Johnston, who is the Vice President of Honda Jet, and uh, we have a great program with them. Actually, this building was acquired to support, the building that we're in was acquired to support the training for Honda back when Honda announced that they were coming. And also we have today with us Linda Shaw, who is the chairman of the current chairman of the county commissioners that indicated the great support that they do. Uh, she and her husband have been great supporters of Guilford Tech, and she was telling me earlier about how her husband and uh, Dr. Cameron worked very hard in the legislature to get a lot of laws passed that support what we're doing here today. So again, Linda, thank you for all the work that you have done. The building that we currently call the Aviation 3 building, and we are taking uh, in all those that would like to have their name on the building, we are looking for naming rights so we can call it something other than Aviation 3. So please take that in consideration as you think about your giving to the college after you hear about all the great things that we're doing here. It's really the heart of GTC's aviation campus. Uh, this building we're in is leased and our Davis Center over on the airport actually because of the way the airport authority works was turned back over to them. So we leased that building from the airport. The 22 acre campus we're breaking ground on today is GTC's aviation campus, it is ours, and it will be the beginning and the heart of what we do here in the future in supporting Guilford County, the Piedmont Triad in North Carolina to bring public aviation, the aviation industry, well, we want to be the heart of the aviation industry here in Guilford County 
and Guilford Tech wants to be the lead trainer and support for that as we move forward. It's hard to believe that we started 43 years ago with a two-year aviation management technology program, a two-year program in avionics, and a one-year program in airframe and power plant mechanics. We've come a long way, as you can see, since the original setting across the airport in Hangar 3. Today, the program is expanding to support the future of the aviation industry that is growing and will continue to grow here in Guilford County. This is not a pipe dream. Honda Aircraft and Timco are here. Their executives are here today in this building with us. If the projections are true that our triad leadership are talking about, we're standing at the heart of the Aviation and Logistical and Educational Center of Guilford County and indeed the Eastern United States. Let me share a little bit about, numbers speak louder than words and really tell the truth. Let me tell you some success stories about Guilford Tech's current aviation students. We've grown from 150 students in 2006 to 337 students this past fall. Our students are doing outstanding in their passing of their licensure rates. In the Aviation General License, 100% passing last year, 31 students. In the Airframe and Aviation, 100% passing of their FAA certification, 29 students. In the Power Plant Certification, 95% passing, 21 students. Does that not speak to the excellence that we have here? Congratulations to our students and our instructors. We also have a flight team that has been competing. And they placed third in the National Intercollegiate Flying Association Region 10 this past fall at Elizabeth City State University. Coached by Audrey Floyd, our aviation department chair, was second in all ground events and third in all flight events and overall competition. We were just that far behind the U.S. Naval Academy in terms of what we were able to do. So again, we're in some pretty good company when we're talking about what our students are doing. As you can see, GTCC continues its legacy as a leader in workforce development and as a spot in the comprehensive aviation and training programs that we're doing in this country. We have a lot to be proud of, and you have a lot to be proud of as citizens of Guilford County. Guilford Tech is a recognized leader in aviation in this country. The facilities that you're in are almost unmatched by any other community college and many universities in this country. So thank you for what you do. One other person I would like to recognize before we go on with our program is Charles Pierce. Charles, would you stand up? Charles is with ESPA Architects. Thank you, Charles. They're the ones that designed our new building that you can see here on the sides. We have images of both of those as we go on. Now we'll hear from Steve Johnston from Honda, and immediately after him would be Linda Shaw, and then following concluding remarks by Mr. Willard, and then we'll go over outside to our groundbreaking. Thank you again so much for being here today. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I apologize that Mr. Fugino was not able to make it here. Told Dr. Parker that will drop the aggregate IQ on the stage by about 100 points. Um, first off, I'd like to recognize uh, Dr. Parker, Parker, members of the GTCC board, distinguished guests and friends of GTCC on this exciting and I think pretty important occasion. On behalf of Mr. Fugino, We'd like to congratulate Guilford Technical Community College on this wonderful, what I think is a milestone event. As many of you know, the aphorism that's associated with Honda is the phrase, the power of dreams. We at Honda know perfectly well that dreams have their greatest power when they are shared and then realized. The dream of an aviation cluster in the Piedmont Triad region is shared by many people in this room, and many who have been contributing toward making this dream a reality. However, Guilford Technical Community College has had and will continue to have, I believe, a very vital leadership role in fulfilling this dream. 
I like to tell people that Honda Aircraft is not in the business of building the world's most advanced light jet. We're developing a capability in Greensboro, both a present and a future capability. Uh, that is the capability for designing, certifying, manufacturing, and providing a premium ownership experience for our products. However, the difference between building a product and creating a capability is an exceptionally profound difference. We are often asked if Greensboro is a good place to do business and do they have all of the trained people and skill sets we need to be successful here. This groundbreaking ceremony, we believe, is evidence that GTCC is not just aspiring to train a few people. In fact, they are developing a present and a future capability. And it's a capability to provide whatever skill sets aviation-related industries will need, both in the present and in the future, and for both existing companies and for those who will choose to come here in the future because of those capabilities. We believe this will help create what Mr. Fugino is fond of calling an aerotechnopolis, which is a region with a solid foundation in, related, in aviation related engineering, research, and manufacturing. So we want to congratulate you, Dr. Parker, and the leadership of GTCC for your extraordinary vision and for helping the triad prepare for the future. And it's a brighter future, we believe. In many ways, you're helping to create a path forward by developing the human capabilities necessary to achieve the dream of an aviation cluster in Greensboro. Honda Aircraft is honored to be a friend and partner with Guilford Technical Community College and very proud to play a part in realizing the, pro uh, the power of dreams in the triad. Again, on behalf of Mr. Fugino, congratulations and all success in the future. Thank you. Good morning. Isn't it great to be alive on this beautiful day? I'm Linda Shaw. Uh, first thing I'd like to do is recognize, I think, one of my commissioners, uh, one of our new commissioners, Hank Henning. Hank, stand up and let everybody see you, please. Thank you. I don't believe there are any others here. And of course, he's one of your, your uh, board members, but he's also a former commissioner, chair of the commissioners, Mr. Bob Landreth. It's always good to see you, Bob. My husband did um, support this when he, in his last years, um, especially in the Senate, he went out in 2004. So this goes back to then in talking about it, he and Don Cameron. And so uh, aviation is, is a big thing for us here in Guilford County. And it's just beginning in my opinion. So on behalf of the Board of Commissioners, I wanna extend our warmest greetings to the students, the faculty, and the special guests in attendance here today. It is a pleasure and an honor to be a part of the program for the groundbreaking of the new aviation building. This day wouldn't have been possible without the support of citizens in Guilford County. The voters approved bonds in 2008 that will help build this wonderful facility. Investing in education is one of the most important ways that we as a community can support economic development in Guilford County. I can assure our citizens that GTCC has been an incredible steward of bond money over the years. The leadership there has carefully planned their growth to assure their dollars are used in the best way possible to create productive and a skilled workforce. Our board is very excited about the growth of GTCC. I can remember, I'm from Jamestown originally um, and, and High Point. And I can remember when GTCC was just this very small little school. And look, look what we have today and the programs we have for our students. City Councilman Zach Matheny is sitting out here too, ladies and gentlemen. I just saw him. Our board is excited about the growth that GTCC has seen in the aviation program. 
This nationally recognized program gives our region and our students an edge in the economy by preparing them with advanced education and hands-on experience. The expanded aviation program will help us attract more companies to our region because we have skilled workforce like no other area in the state. With the growth in aviation, the sky really is the limit, no pun intended, the sky really is the limit for our county and the graduates of this program. The success of this program can also be credited to the relationship that GTCC has developed with companies like Timco, Honda Aircraft. GTCC was one of the key factors that Honda Aircraft considered when they chose to locate to Guilford County. And we're so happy to have you all. Honda is an innovator in their industry and they're designing and building some of the most advanced aircrafts in the world at their headquarters here in Greensboro. And I am just very proud. Our citizens are a part of that. They employ a lot of our citizens. Thank you, Dr. Parker, for allowing me to share this exciting day with all of you. And I look forward to the day we cut the ribbon of this building and open the doors to the future of aviation in our region. Thank you very much. I appreciate those comments from both. Uh, this has been a great morning and I look forward to that ribbon cutting too. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for coming today and supporting us. We walk out of this meeting today with heads held high. Thanks to the citizens of Guilford County and the governing bodies that support us. Remember that GTCC is Guilford County's major workforce trainer, and this is a good example. The college is training for the industries that are here and those that will come. And GTCC has never missed a step in doing this, and this is again a good example of, of that. Remember though that we need your support to maintain this institu institution and its facilities so that it may continue to attract employers and new industries to Guilford County. Thank you for all that you've done and thank you for sticking with us through all these years and we look forward to a great future. We will now have our groundbreaking outside. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>